Hi, I made these roses one rainy afternoon uh, when I felt I needed to change from my regular work. Um, I saw the process on Metal Artist Forum. Um, next two days I managed to fill in some details which I think speeded up the process and uh, also improved some of the uh, mechanical aspects of it. Um, if you choose to follow my practices, uh, please understand that you do so at your own risk. Always be safe and always uh, be legal. Um, the roses are based on uh, the already familiar bottle caps uh, from Pilsner Urquell. Uh, these have been stripped from lining and flattened. Um, if you don't know how to, see my two previous videos. The cup now needs to be center marked and uh, marked out for the five petals. I made this template using Inkscape program on my computer and printed it out on cardboard and cut out. It's basically a five point star with 72 degree angle between the arms and a little hole in the center for the center punch. I use my automatic center punch to um, punch the uh, center mark for further drilling and holding down uh, with the center punch I rotate the cup and mark out the um, edges of the uh, petals of the rose and the cup is now ready for drilling and cutting. To cut the cup uh, I use ordinary household scissors uh, bought in Canadian tire for five dollars. They're actually better for this than metal shears because uh, they don't have micro serrations and the edges of the cuts are therefore nice and straight. Uh, cut uh, to the point equidistant uh, from the center. Uh, be careful not to cut right through the center, that would ruin the piece. So the cup is now ready for center drilling. Normally uh, I would use a number 51 drill which is perfect for a 14 gauge uh, copper wire stem. Um, if you don't have a drill or drill press uh, you can use a punch. Here I'm using 1.5 millimeter um, beadsmith punch. 1.5 millimeters is a bit undersized for a 14 gauge and therefore you will need to enlarge the hole uh, by some means uh, at your disposal. Um, the copper uh, wire is going to get soldered to the cup and to do so one needs to remove the um, coating of the cup uh, around the soldering point. Here I'm using a um, Dremel burr uh, which is diamond coated just to remove a small area. Um, it is now ready uh, to be soldered. Um, the cup as you see it uh, will form the bottom layer uh, of the rose flower. Um, I will be inserting the um, 14 gauge copper wire through the center hole and soldering it in place. Here is a jig I made uh, for this. This is basically just um, um, a piece of scrap wood uh, with another uh, number 51 hole in it so that once I've inserted the wire um, through the hole in the petal uh, layer um, this will hold the parts together uh, securely and avoid heat sinking. Uh, I use a water soluble flux which is much easier to clean afterwards and I'm using a 50-50 uh, solder. Uh, please note if you're going to give this to children uh, you should probably use a lead free solder um, I'm using a uh, soldering gun which is less than ideal for this uh, kind of job however uh, I have been using it since I was 10 so I'm kind of used to it and the result is just fine so here I have finished soldering it uh, the uh, soldering joint is pretty good there is no solder on the inside of the flower and the um, petals are securely attached and do not rotate around the stem. So the um, assembly is now ready for adding a second layer of um, petals. 
Normally I use three layers of petals, but for demonstration purposes I will only use two. So here is the assembly, which is going to be um, loosely clumped in uh, my vise. And here comes the second layer of petals, uh, inserted the same way. Note that uh, I uh, try to get the petals staggered and overlapping. And now I will use a, a improvised setting tool to make sure that the two layers of petals are uh, tied to each other. Now I will use a uh, old key card uh, with a hole drilled through it uh, to cut the excess wire. This will give me just the right length of the wire protruding so that I can pin it over like a rivet. And now using a ball pin hammer um, I basically uh, make a little rivet and secure the two layers uh, of petals together. And as you can see, the two layers are secured together. They do not rotate in respect to each other or in respect to the stem. So this now concludes the workshop part and we are moving into the realm uh, of the artist studio. I was going to shoot this part in more uh, congenial surroundings, perhaps communing with nature, but it's February in Campbell River. It's raining outside, so I'm afraid we're staying in the workshop. The next step is uh, what you're going to be judged by as far as the final product is concerned. Um, it involves uh, bending the um, petals towards the center and bending them in such a way that they look like a real rose. Uh, may I suggest that uh, for this part you wear gloves the chances that you will cut yourself on these very sharp edges is very high. I like to use um, round nose pliers uh, and they seem to do the job um, for uh, most part. Um, I had a look at um, some pictures of roses and some diagrams and studied the anatomy of the um, rose flower a bit. Um, unfortunately, I was unable to lay my hands on any real roses. Uh, but uh, uh, this will just have to do. So you pick your way around, uh, starting with the central air, and keep bending. Uh, sometimes uh, the leaflets curl inwards, sometimes the tips curve outwards. Um, if you add a little bit of structure to the edges of the leaflets, uh, it makes them look more interesting. Note that uh, the uh, two layers of petals um, are arranged with the uh, commercial writing on the inside, so that once the flower is finished, uh, you actually won't see uh, any uh, advertising or trademarks. This is not just for um, aesthetic reasons, but uh, so you wouldn't get into trouble with uh, legal issues, with trademarks and uh, the copyright, etc. So you just keep going around uh, until you are satisfied that the whole thing looks uh, like a rose. Um, this one uh, may not end up the best. Uh, because it's being done with a camera between me and the, uh, the actual object. But I think you will get the general idea. Here I'm trying to bend out the uh, tips of the leaflets just to make it look like they're curling. So here is uh, the rose in its semi-finished state. Uh, you might consider finishing it in some other ways, perhaps with paint, patina, so on and so forth. Uh, this is probably outside the uh, realm of this video. So here are again the four finished products from previous times. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got some ideas uh, that you might want to try. Uh, thank you for watching.